First Lady Melania Trump and her stepdaughter, Ivanka Trump, both donned the ethereal white frocks to visit Israel's Holocaust Memorial Yid Vashem on Tuesday with the president. Melania, 47, modeled a sleeveless, A-line dress that skimmed her calves, while Ivanka, 35, opted for a $5,690 long-sleeve frock by Oscar de la Renta to show respect for her Jewish faith and its strict dress codes. Ivanka converted to Judaism in 2009 when she married Jared, who comes from an Orthodox family, and the two looked on in silence and held hands during the Sombra visit. Like her stepmother's ensemble, Ivanka's demure lace dress also reached her calves, and both women accessorized their stark white frocks with sky-high nude pumps. Unlike the day before, Ivanka opted not to cover her hair, and instead, she wore her blonde locks down in loose waves around her shoulders in a style similar to her stepmother's. However, Ivanka added a pair of statement earrings to her ladylike ensemble, while Melania wore very little jewelry aside from her wedding band. Keeping with Jewish law, Trump and his son-in-law Jared both wore black kippahs clipped in their hair as a sign of respect. The museum commemorates the six million Jews killed by the Nazis during World War II, and during their visit, President Trump delivered a solemn message of remembrance and a defiant pledge of never again words can never describe the bottomless depths of that evil, or the scope of the anguish and destruction, the president said of the last century's Nazi atrocities. It was history's darkest hour. It was the most savage crime against God and his children, and it is our solemn duty to remember, to mourn to grieve and to honor every single life that was so cruelly and viciously taken, he said. Only when we remember the families who were torn apart from everyone they loved, who suffered the terrible darkness and evil, who endured the unbearable horror of the Holocaust, only then can we prevent this agony from ever repeating. Ivanka and Jared had their hands clasped in front of them as they watched President Trump and Melania place a wreath of flowers on the stone slab above where the ashes of martyred Jews are permanently kept. Trump was also invited to rekindle an eternal flame at Yad Vashem, and after the ceremony he went outside to sign the Yad Vashem guest book, silently leaving an inscription that took him more than a minute to write. Melania followed him to the book, inscribing a briefer message for less than 10 seconds. While at Yad Vashem, he was presented with a replica of a Holocaust era personal album that belonged to the 16 year old Esther Goldstein, one of the Holocaust's victims. Her surviving sister, Margot Hershenbaum, attended the ceremony. The somber 12 minute ceremony came after the Trumps returned from the West Bank, where the president met with Palestinian leader Mahmoud Abbas. The president headed afterward to the Israel Museum to give deliver a speech about Middle East peace. The family then traveled to Ben Gurion International Airport for Trump's departure ceremony, which was attended by Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and his wife Sarah. After their flight to Italy, they will be spending Wednesday in Vatican City where the president will have a meeting with Pope Francis.